Oh boy, where do I start now? It seems like some of you guys didn't really enjoy the previous intro. And the other guys seem to really like this video. And I'm going to go and try to make a different one. So we're going to start off with a different story this time. It's going to be in Halloween. This story goes back to Halloween of my high school years. Uh, my senior year. And... Uh, I went to go hang out with some friends. Now, if you guys know me personally, you know I don't celebrate Halloween due to uh, my religion. And, well, I went over to a friend's house, and I was supposed to bring food, so I brought the food. And we're all having a good time, having, having you know, chatting, making fun of each other, normal stuff. And we decide that, you know, this amount of people in one area is just, it's, it's not healthy. So we're going to go to a more open place. So we decided to go to the nearby orchard. Keep in mind, it's like almost midnight, Halloween night. And uh, we're walking over there since it is a pretty decent like amount of ground you have to cover. And I had drank a lot of soda, like a lot. I probably downed almost an entire liter. It, it, was, it wasn't healthy. I have a soda addiction, so yeah. Anyways. We progress down, and we're walking, and I'm just like, you know, I really need to take a piss, but I'm gonna wait till we get to the orchard. So we get to the orchard, and I'm like, you guys go on ahead. And I guess they didn't hear me. Um, so I start, you know, taking my piss. They're a fair distance away, but it's pitch dark. It's fucking pitch dark. The only way I can tell that they are there is because of their flashlight on their phones and because of the people some of them are using their phones to uh look at messages and shit so it's like glowing on their face and i'm just like okay i know where they are so I, I finish up and i'm trying to walk to them but i notice that they're gonna make a turn and then god knows where they're gonna go from there so i'm like i'm about to take off running you know and uh catch up to these guys so you know i'm about to start running and a guy pulls me into the fucking bushes now nah, i'm fucking with y'all um but um I start running towards them. I'm trying to catch up to my friends. And they think I'm somebody trying to hurt them or do something to them because they're they're there, you know? And they look back. One of them screams. The other ones are like, what the fuck is going on? And he takes off sprinting. And the rest see me running up to them. And since I'm wearing a hoodie, they're like, holy shit. So they start running too. And I'm just like, what's going on? And I'm, I'm trying to sprint. Keep in mind, I'm cross-country, so I can outrun most of these fuckers. And I start sprinting, trying to catch up to them. Like, oh, these guys are trying to run away from me. And they're like, what's the problem? And, you know, they're, like, screaming. They're, like, shouting. They're, they're, they sound like a bunch of pussies, right? And, you know, I eventually catch up to the stra uh, straggler. And I'm just like, what the fuck is the problem? And he's like, wait, it's Emmanuel? And then they're like, oh, Holy shit. And some of them are still sprinting. Like, they're trying to get the fuck out of there. So we all scattered in this orchard. And, and I'm just saying, like, you know, it's me. It's me. It's Manuel. You know, stop screaming. Stop being little bitches. And they're like, oh, my God. You're one scary motherfucker. As in, because I was catching up to them, sprinting. And it was pitch dark. They didn't know who it was. We all split up. We spent, like, 30 minutes trying to find everybody since everybody just kind of scattered everywhere. It was a pretty funny situation thinking that I was some kind of crazy man trying to like harm my friends, but <laughs> it was really me just trying to catch up to them. And that, the moral of the story, I guess, is uh, don't run behind your friends in the middle of a pitch dark orchard because you might scare the shit out of them and they might hurt, hurt you. Because given if they all decided to start fucking beating me, they would have possibly killed me. I mean, there, there's nine of them. They're all slightly bigger than me. Nick on is like fucking buff and I'm over here just like a scrawny little ass kid 5'9 and I'm like oh all these guys turn around and start beating the shit out of me they can possibly murder me <laughs> I just want to say thank you for stopping by and watching this video um, please leave a like comment and subscribe as well as um, this was probably the crummiest story I've got. I got a few more actual entertaining stories like my first one of drinking soap. I got a few ones of me going to uh, camping trips and doing really stupid shit there. And, uh, you know, religious retreats where I do things that are completely regrettable and probably questionable.